Last year, we had a real hodgepodge of technology in the classroom. We had all sorts of devices. A lot of those are locked down to specific apps and they weren't full open operating systems. It was limited to what we could do. This year, the progress that I've seen with the children and their learning, their resilience, their ability to collaborate, their resourcefulness and problem solving, I've seen more of that happening this year than I have in my previous years of teaching. We've had the Surface Pro 3 here at St Andrews since it was first released in New Zealand and we uh, ordered six straight away to make sure that we could uh, build a proof of concept. We now have uh, around 30 teachers who are using the Surface Pro 3 here at St Andrews. I would now find it quite strange not working with it and for the children as well. In our Surface tablets, they're, they're able to work together and learn together anytime, anywhere. So they're no longer tethered to the classroom. Um, they don't have to be sitting in exactly the same space. So we can begin a lesson, the group can move out of the room, but they're still logged into the exact same notebook. They're able to share resources, share ideas. And as well as that, using the Surface tablets, children have been able to continue on at home and use uh, programs such as Skype. And they're able to log into Skype, have Skype running in the background, they can still speak, share ideas and talk to each other while inputting all the information, putting their learning into one note. The range of activities they're using them for is, is quite outstanding. Um, from being able to sketch cover designs of the stories they're writing uh, through to uh, some of the 3D uh, mock-ups they're making for printing uh, on a, an artificial hand uh, is one of the projects they're working on, uh, through to some of the um, story writing and, and creative story writing they're doing is really interesting too. They've been able to use Minecraft. So within Minecraft what they did is they created their 3D realm, they created the world, the scene, the setting of their story and developed that as they wrote. So within conjunction of their writing their world grew and as their world grew so did their story. One of the other aha moments was art was having a child in the class who was actually very artistic and using the stylus and using fresh paint, she had started creating logos for a design team that she was part of and she was being outsourced by her group to the other groups and they actually started bartering over skill sets. So they were outsourcing Ivy and her artistic skill and Ivy on her surface was creating logos for each design team and in return the other design teams then had to do something for this one that was outsourcing Ivy. In maths we're seeing a lot of uh, the ability to handwrite directly onto the Surface Pro and project that wirelessly to the screen is proving to be very popular amongst a lot of the teachers. So I looked at using Office Mix to record what I was doing on OneNote and then hosting my videos online and that let me set up a course um, where my students can work through their curriculum content in uh, a sort of a time frame that reflects their own abilities or their own pace of work. It just means that students aren't sort of under pressure to have full attention all the time. If they miss something they can go back and watch it again and so it made an environment where my students could learn at their own pace. They could watch these tutorial videos at any time, they're not under pressure to get it all done within a, a single lesson. In our English department, the teachers are finding the ability to handwrite notes and feedback has been really beneficial. I can go through and, and scribble all over their work and I can annotate between lines um, and put in the information um, there as well as put in the marking schedule alongside it so that when the students view their work, they have their work with the corrections, the feedback, the marking schedule all on one. For me, it, it really does become part of that anytime, anywhere learning. I think it's been a fundamental change to the way that I teach. 